in a faraway land, right in the heart of the desert, there lived a family of bush turkeys, a mother and father, and three young brothers. The smallest brother always dreamed of flying. Sometime after seeing his mom and dad fly, he would think, where well, I wish I could fly. I would go anywhere I wanted and soar in the sky. I bet one day I could even get over that dog fence. Whenever they had to travel somewhere far, the brothers would hop onto mom's back to go for a ride. Hop onto my back, boys, she would say, let's go for a ride. Don't forget to hang on tight. And she would run and run and then with the left of her wings, they would take off. The brothers knew they had to stay healthy so they could be fit and strong to fly one day. Their father taught them all things they need to stay healthy. He would reach lovely bush food on the tree with his long neck and shake the tree so the little brothers could peck at the condoms when they fell to the ground. The smallest brother was always good at eating healthy bush food. One day, the father took them to a beautiful rock hole. Hop onto my back, let's go for a ride, the mother instructed. And don't forget to hang on tight, the three boys laughed. And off they went together to the rock hole. When you see two trees like these, the father turkey told them, you will find the lovely fresh water that is good for your kidneys. And as they landed, the three brothers hopped off and walked past the two trees before having a nice drink of water to keep their kidneys healthy. Little did they know they were being watched by a big hungry dingo. And just as the turkeys were finishing their drink, the dingo rushed them. Quick! The father turkey shouted to the boys. Hurry on to mom's back. They quickly hopped on together and as the dingo ran faster and edged closer and closer, the turkeys ran and ran with the flap of their wings, they started to take off. But only the smallest turkey brother remembered to hold on tight and as the mother turkey lifted up, his two brothers rolled off her back and tumbled to the ground. The smallest turkey turned his head and as he looked back, he saw the dingo had grabbed them and it was too late. If only they could fly, the little turkey thought. Don't look back, the mother said. How long we have to get past these trees? But the little turkey was too busy looking back and just as mom had a quick turn, the little turkey wasn't ready and fell off too. As soon as he hit the ground, he thought about the dingo, so he ran and ran as fast as he could through the salt trees and into the bush. He didn't know where his family were, or that great big dingo, so he just kept running. After a while, he began to cry. The poor little turkey was alone, and as the sun began to set over the plains, he curled up and went to sleep. The next day, he wandered around looking for his family. He was still crying. Lucky for him, he came across a three camels. Don't cry, little turkey, the camels told him. Follow us, we'll take you to a nice rock hole. It looks like you need a good drink. And they took the little turkey away to a rock hole. He felt better after a drink of water. When he looked up, he noticed the two trees his father had shown him. He told the camels about what happened to him and his family. They decided to look after him for a while. After many days had passed, 
and he had grown up a little, he decided he was ready to leave the camels to search for his family. He had been eating healthy bush food and drinking water every day and was ready. The camels told him about a special and fantastic place they had heard of. There is a community over that way, they put it. But don't eat too many sugar food when you get there. We heard it was spared for your kidneys, they said wisely. The little turkey certainly didn't want to do that. He just knew he wanted to stay healthy so he could be strong enough to fly. So he head off towards the community. By the time he got there, it was night time, so he followed the lights and went. Past the water tank, past the oval, past the basketball court, past the school. Past the hall, At the of your own name. past the shop, past the clinic, but there was nobody there, everyone was asleep. But when the sun rose up, it was daylight. And just when he was looking forward to ask someone for help, he was greeted by some dogs, lots of dogs. And they looked at that nice turkey and started to circle him closer and closer. The turkey knew he had to get out of there and he turned to leave. But the dogs growled and he thought, uh-oh, and ran and ran faster as he could. He could hear all the dogs snapping behind him, so he ran even faster. But he saw a great big fence coming up ahead really fast. So just like that he flapped his wings the way his mum and dad used to. He flapped and flapped and ran and ran and just before he was snapped by a dog he lifted up off the ground and flew right over the fence. I'm flying, I'm flying, he shouted, and he flew all the way to find his family. And do you know what? He did find them and lived happily ever after. Yes, I do.